gratified to be able to report to you that I found that the members of the Dollar Export Board hold the views I do on the approach which Britain must make to closing the dollar gap. That approach is that British manufacturers must use every means in their grasp and must apply the most skillful and imaginative techniques to earn more dollars. They must stimulate the movement of trade to the huge dollar market which beckons to them. They must export more goods uh, to this vast dollar area. Manufacturers have not yet begun to tap the huge reservoir of American buying power. It is a very large market. In 1948, its gross national product was $254 billion. Just 1% more of that sum spent on British goods, 1%, and the dollar gap can be closed. I do want to stress that to get that 1% will take energetic salesmanship as well as low-cost production. Another thing for my own country, I can assure you that the great mass of Americans entertain toward the British people feelings of deep and abiding friendship. On both sides of the Atlantic, we know that our countries and the Commonwealth must stand together and work together and stick together, along with all the free nations, if we are to realize our hopes for economic success and lasting peace for the world. have studied the problem sufficiently to know that it's the minimum output at which those plants can be kept. Highly encouraging development is the hard, realistic work now being done by the British Dollar Exports Board. It is evident to me that it is off to a very good start and will be making an expanding contribution to help Britain earn its needed dollars. I would suggest that there are two minimum goals which British industry ought to set for itself and begin right now to achieve them. First to increase by at least five times the number of British firms energetically engaged in selling the dollar market. Two, to treble the volume of British dollar exports, raising it from 600 million to 1 billion 800 million. The United States today are back uh, to the Underwood level. That's about 1914. They are substantially below uh, what they were in 1929. In 1929, Europe sold America a billion dollars worth uh, of merchandise. Our gross national product that year was approximately $100 billion. At the present moment, Europe is selling America less, at the rate of less than $1 billion annually, and in 1948, our gross national product, as I stated, was $254 billion. Do you What would you do with the goods you now give us under Marshall aid? Could any country afford the dollars to buy them? I'm very glad you asked that question, because one of the greatest delusions in Europe is that we need Europe in order to sell American surpluses. I assure you, that American surpluses can be turned to very good advantage in America itself if it comes to a mere matter of giving away goods. 
and there was no other motive involved. We can give all the surplus goods we're making away right in the United States of America. I don't know it is. Could you, Mr. Hoffman, tell us something of any possibility of facilitating exports from here to the dollar area by a lowering of the tariff barriers which at present tend to, to keep them out? If there were no martial aid, Mr. Hoffman, could you tell us what European country could afford to buy the goods that we get under martial aid? What country could afford the dollars, for instance? If there were no martial aid, Mr. Hoffman, could you tell us what European country or what country could afford the dollars to buy those goods we get under the scheme? Mr. Hoffman, in the communique that was issued on the 11th of July after the London talks between Mr. Snyder and Sir Stafford Cripps, it was stated that both countries would review their economic policies with a view to overcoming the unbalance between the dollar area and the sterling world. You have now made it quite clear what, in your view, ought to be done by Britain, that is to say, a lowering of costs. Could you also enlighten us as to the review of policies that America would undertake as its contribution to the...